the ACE trial presented at the EASD demonstrated in a group of patients from China with impaired glucose tolerance and cardiovascular disease that treatment with a carbose failed to lower the incidence of uh, cardiovascular events, uh, defined as two different cardiovascular events. One was the typical three-point mace, one was a five-point mace that included hospitalizations for heart failure as well as hospitalizations for unstable angina. Well, you know, we were, we were led to believe on the basis of the STOP NIDDM trial that patients with impaired glucose tolerance treated with a carbose might experience a reduction in their risk of cardiovascular events. And this trial, which was a much larger trial extending over a larger period of time, enriched with patients with cardiovascular disease, failed to confirm that. So I don't think that this is going to change because I don't think most of us are using a carbose based upon cardiovascular prevention. Rather, we're using a carbose for treatment of the postprandial hyperglycemia that we have difficulty controlling with conventional uh, treatments. Yeah, the question is, is whether these results can be applicable to the Western population, and I believe that they can because the patients with uh, in, in China, despite the fact that their average BMI were smaller, really do behave very much like Western uh, European and, and North American um, populations in terms of their association of hyperglycemia with complications and their relative um, um, risk of cardiovascular disease and lipids and blood pressure and I want I want to point out that these patients were very well treated with secondary treatments for appropriate for patients with cardiovascular disease so again I think these uh, data are very applicable to the Western um, population Well, you know, I don't think that there needs necessarily to be additional steps with a carbose. I think at this study, to me, it, there wasn't even a significant trend to suggest reduction. Um, there was a reduction in, in uh, uh, diabetes uh, development, which they saw with the STOP NIDDM study as well. So we could certainly think about extending that information into uh, prevention of diabetes. I know that that is, at least in the United States, something that is almost never done. So we, we need to, t you know, take less and we have two studies showing that it can pre help prevent diabetes and perhaps that's where we need to begin using a carbose more, more uh, regularly.